What's going on guys? We are back on Virginia Key today down in Miami. Gonna be doing some bridge pier fishing. Small hooks, small pieces of shrimp. By this point, if you've been watching my videos, you know the setup. Uh, just gonna be dropping it basically straight down here. We'll make some cast, cast toward the bridge pilings and hopefully get a nice variety of a bunch of different species. So let's give it a shot. All right, so there's our little bit of shrimp. This is a uh, size eight hook, slightly bigger than what I wanted to use, but I forgot my smaller hooks. Actually, I forgot a lot of stuff today. And then a uh, one ounce sinker. So the water doesn't seem to be moving at all, but we're just gonna drop this straight down there. There's the bottom. And let's see what we can get. That was a bite already. Got him. Let's see what we got. Oh, file fish, plain head file fish. All right, so first fish of the day is a plain head file fish. I still think it's a really, really cool catch just because it looks like an awesome fish. Uh, but in this spot, it's pretty common. I caught my first one here, and then every time I've been here, I've also caught at least one. So let's get the hook out of this guy, and let's get him on back in the water. All right, so the water's pretty clear. I can see a lot of Sergeant Majors down there. I think I just got lucky with the file fish. So I'm just gonna flip this out toward the, uh, the bridge there, the pilings. Maybe there's something cooler than a Sergeant Major over there. I think I just had a bite already. There we go, Let's see what this is. What is this? Probably a grunt, white grunt. Yeah, so white grunt, these guys are super, super common over here. I catch dozens of them basically every time. So we'll get this guy back and we'll keep going. We got one. Little French grunt. Alrighty, fish number three, the uh, better looking French grunt. These guys just look a little bit prettier. That yellow color looks a little bit nicer than the white grunt counterpart that we just caught. like another okay. white grunt. All right, fish number four, it's a repeat. It's another white grunt, but yeah, I do think these guys just look a little bit more boring than the French grunts. Here we go, pork fish. One of my favorites, the really, really good looking pork fish. It's another grunt, but I think this is probably gonna be the best looking grunt. French grunt is in second place now. Oh, it's a yellow tail snapper. All right, one of the better looking snappers. This is a yellowtail. I think these guys in lanes look the best. They have pretty good variety, nothing super new and exciting, but we're getting some good catches. Got him. What is this? Oh, a new species for the day. Sergeant Major. Yeah, so usually super common, also super annoying, but one is okay. 
so I don't mind one. We'll get this guy back and we'll keep fishing. Hopefully we get no more of these guys and no more white grunts, but that's wishful thinking. Got him. Oh, that's a big tarpon. That is a monster tarpon. I got a white grunt and like a 40, 50 pound tarpon just came up to look at it. Yeah, so if I had a bigger setup, this guy would be getting live lined immediately for that giant tarpon. But unfortunately, I don't have that. So fortunately for this guy, he is going to get released. This is started out pulling well and then very quickly gave up. Looks like a big white grunt. Yeah, biggest white grunt of the day. Yeah, so whether I drop this straight down in the middle or over by the uh, the bridge pilings, this place is just infested with white grunts. See what this little thing is. Oh, a bantail puffer. Alrighty, so another pretty cool looking fish species, the bantail puffer. I used to say these guys were pretty rare because I used to not catch a lot of these. I used to catch a lot more checkered puffers. But recently, over the last several weeks, I've been catching a lot of these bantails. So cool little catch. See what we got. Oh, it's a parrotfish. All right, some sort of parrotfish. Not sure on which kind. Don't think it's a stoplight. Is it? A, a, I don't think it's a red band. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll let you know down below right about now. But yeah, I moved over to this spot because there were some bigger parrotfish, some uh, rainbow and midnight, which I was trying to catch. So far, we got none of those but we did get whatever this thing is, and he is hooked well. Come on now, there we go. Let's throw him back on over. What is this? Another grunt. All right, so this spot, just like a little bit further up the pier, looks like we got a nice population of grunts in here. So hook out of this guy. All these guys keep getting hooked well today. I don't know what's going on, but we'll get him back. What is this? Another grunt. This is a white one. Yeah, so if this spot has taught me anything is that you got to work through the species you don't want to catch the species you do want. Because most of the time, it'll just be one of these white grunts or some other kind of grunt. But every once in a while, you'll get surprised with like, with that parrot fish I just caught or like that file fish earlier. So we'll keep going for a little bit longer and hopefully we can get something else. Let's get surprised by something else besides a grunt. Got him. That's not what I wanted. Schoolmaster. 
All right, spent about 10 minutes in that one spot just dropping shrimp after shrimp because there were some parrotfish that were taking bites out of it. Couldn't hook him. Finally hooked one fish, and it's a schoolmaster snapper. Those parrotfish are still down there. They come and check it out. But just all the other fish get to it, and they're a lot more aggressive than the parrotfish are. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get one. I'll make a few more drops, and I think we are gonna wrap it up. All right guys, so that's gonna do it. This is what I would consider a rough day. Very, very hot. We had some rain come through, which made it really, really muggy on top of that. Uh, a lot of grunts, as always, over in this spot. Couple snappers, one parrotfish. Uh, I got bites from a lot of other parrotfish. Uh, I don't have the rainbow parrotfish. I believe the other ones were uh, striped parrotfish and midnight parrotfish. All three I've never caught before. I got bites from the striped and the rainbow multiple times, but they were just kind of picking at it. They didn't really want to full commit. So that's a little bit of a disappointment, but they're here. So maybe I'll make a return trip here and try to just spend a whole day targeting those because we couldn't get any here at the end. But besides that, pretty okay variety, just a bunch of fish that I've caught before. So either way, I hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.